What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Anti-Gravity Room. You are here with Jiffy Pop. I'm a little sick today. I'm going to try not to let it interfere. I may or may not have severe dysentery. I don't know. Maybe my infection uh, of my intestines is getting worse and causing me to bleed out of my anus. Maybe it's not. Who's to say? Right now, I actually saw this yesterday, but it's been out for about a week now. I don't know how pervy you guys are to this stuff, so I figured I'd do an update about it while... It's still relative news to report here. So we got a new Dragon Ball Super Card game coming out. I know a lot of you guys who uh, are subscribers on my channel like the Dragon Ball cards. A couple of tutorial, a couple things up. Dragon Ball is really popular right now. Super is being brought over here, getting dubbed. We're going to have new action figures by Bandai of America, which is cool. So like we haven't had Dragon Ball American action figures in a long time. We're going to have those back. But we have a new card game. It's totally replacing the Panini old game. It's like nothing we've seen before. Um, it, it looks like kind of like that Vanguard game um, to me a little bit, but it's, it's like nothing uh, Dragon Ball wise we've ever seen before. There's a website here, you can see dbs-cardgame.com, and it's a pretty bare site, like there's no product pictures, there's no rules, there's no like anything. So we have uh, what about the Dragon Ball Super Card Game. The Dragon Ball Super Card Game is a card game with characters from not just the Dragon Ball Super, but countless other Dragon Ball series. It's an all-star Dragon Ball battle. And you can see here, one thing that they're touting about this, um, it'll, it'll probably just show it down below, is there's all original art. It's not just screen caps from the show, which is awesome. That was always one thing that I really fucking hated about the original um, card games. It's just terrible screen caps. And there's a little trailer here. Uh, we can watch this quickly. Legendary Warriors. Eternal foes. New adversaries. The curtain rises on an all-star battle. Dragon Ball Super card game. Cards oh, feature illustrations just for, for all the card you little game. kids who love him. That's cool. Detailed anime style illustrations. It is cool art. The watercolor and CG art. Powerful CG illustrations. Experience the ultimate card battle. The game revolves around combos and awakening. Build your team and attain victory. Super card game! And so that's it. <clears throat> but, pretty cool. One thing that's really neat about it, I don't know how well it'll work. If you guys ever played UFS, it has a sick combo system of like series of like low kicks and high kicks, and you have to have a certain amount of momentum before you can get up and start doing combos. There's like interruption and blocks and shit. Really complex, but it's actually really a lot of fun getting these crazy combos off you. You feel so uh, just accomplished in general, I guess. What do you actually do it? Now, there's also Awakenings, which is cool. You just flip over the cards. So it has a kind of like the magic, uh, the gathering, the, the flip cards, which is cool. Having uh, Not having to get Goku and then having to pull Super Saiyan Goku as a super rare or a rare. That's really fucking cool. That's a cool thing that they're doing. Um, I actually like that a lot. You can see they have anime and uh, regular illustrations. Learn to play here is, is lit up, but you can't actually click it. It says rules. For first time players, card types. Are, so there's three different types of cards. <clears throat> Leader type cards. So this is kind of cool. They're doing like a combination of the, the last um, Dragon Ball card game, like the Panini one, and then a combination of that other one that came out that was also a Naruto card game, the same engine where you have like this you have your main leader, which is cool, your main focus of the deck, but then you also have a lot of allies rather than just maybe one or two or, or none, like in Panini, so it really gives that group kind of, you get to have a lot of characters and then there's a little bit more collectible aspect to it, which is nice. You get the battle cards, which are, and then spell cards, so it's just the same as any other card game. Now, you can tell by the layout of the cards here, I don't know how well you can actually see this, but... It shows when this card is, so it has auto awakenings, it has different things that have to be fulfilled, it has a power symbol thing here, special trait, 
Saiyan Goku. So these are keywords that have to do with uh, with playing the the card, I, I assume. And then this, like I said, the layout kind of looks like like Vanguard. So I assume that during your attack phase, whenever that is, it'll just add up the total power that you've got from all of your upgrades and all of your supporting characters, and that'll just be your power versus the opponent's power, similar to, to how Vanguard works. I don't really know how the game exactly works, but there's a lot of triggers, and, and, and it looks like a similar um, style. So if you guys actually know Vanguard, you let me know how similar this looks to it, but to me it looks quite similar. There seems to be like mana costs... Super Saiyan charge you plus 99,000 automatic dual attack double strike yeah so it's just a lot of it just a, it, it looks more complex than it is but this is just do it like double strike and it's just a bracket telling you what double strike does and so it's not really as complex as it, it looks it looks like there's a lot of text on these cards but it, it, it's not as bad as you think but there are eight leaders life so it's like prize cards like Pokemon and then you just take them and, and dwindle their life down when you're in a tough spot, you can awaken and turn the tables. Combo. Gain power with combos. Yeah, so like, the, the zero means you can just play it, the one means you've had to have already strung one piece of a combo in together, and, and so and such and such. I think that's how that's going to work. 45,000 points total. Yeah, so it's a total attack, like I said, you do with all of your allies and stuff. Pretty much what I thought. But that's about it as far as um, gameplay and rules are. I have some other stuff here that I found. This is basically everything I could find on the internet about this um, right now. So the GTS had a, a thing up here. They're a distributor. Full product launch. So their full product launch will be coming in July. And you can start pre-ordering the products now. My cigarette is fucking going out. This is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. So you get... God damn it. So you get 20 half demo decks, 26 cards per deck, 20 promotional limited design alternate versions, one PlayStation manual, double size large Dragon Ball card, card poster, five Dragon Ball Super game posters, and 20 game flyers. I don't know why. Flyer. Like, alright. So. Here's the products. You got a starter deck. It contains 51 cards, a rule sheet, and a play mat, a paper play mat, I assume. Um, common, nine kinds, uncommon, three kinds. Um, start, starter rare. I think it's supposed to say starter rare. Five kinds. So they are keeping the starter exclusive things. A lot of card games do that, so that's not a big deal. You get eight displays per case, six starters per display. So it's a smaller uh, amount of starters per display, which leads me to believe that they'll be. Less, uh, the starters will either have, like, Goku or Vegeta or Frieza or, or whatever. Like, there won't be, like, eight or nine different starter personalities like there was in the other series. I think they're going to leave that for booster packs. And leading into that, booster packs. 114 total cards in the first set. Which seems like a small set to me. It's a little small. Uh, definitely a little on the small side. You're probably only going to have maybe four or five different decks. Like, probably only three or four different decks. Maybe. Maybe. That many. Um, but, yeah. Each pack includes... Um, Eight commons, three uncommons, one rare or higher. So they're going to have premium rares and super rares again. I don't know what the ratio is, but maybe we can find that somewhere down here. Um, Tolls of displays per case, 24 packs per display. There's a picture. Goku and Vegeta on the packs, and then Beerus goes. So it's a Resurrection F-themed, uh, the first set, I, I assume. Special packs. So these are similar to like Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, it usually comes with like three packs and like a promo card, which is basically what this is. A special pack is four booster packs and a promo card. You get it at like a couple dollar discount, like a two bucks discounted price, and you get the promo for free. And that's uh, they hang on the rack. So this will be like the the, the the product you'll probably see at Target as opposed to the regular uh, booster packs. Um, tournament kit. So tournament kits will have sixteen participation promos, which are new promos that won't be in the core set. Three promotion posters, one tournament manual, and there's the prize for how it's supposed to be distributed for the winners. And there's playmats, two pieces. Now, the playmats actually are two pieces because it's like uh, one for player one and one for player two, but you get both, so it's, it's kind of neat. Uh, I have a picture of that somewhere as well. We'll get to that later on. Um, wait, maybe I have it here handy. I think I do. So here's some more card pictures. Super Saiyan 3 Max Energy evolves you lay this over top of another card so it's like a super transformation on an already transformation there's the stand-up poster that the stores will get here's the playmats so this is what the playmats these are just paper playmats but you'll get prize support you'll get the real playmats and there's three areas battle area combo area 
energy area, discard area, main personality, and your deck. That's the back of the cards. They're just samples, but it's it's simple. I like it. It's fine. I like the old ones too. It doesn't matter. And then we got some more cards here. This is an awakening from the Goku that you saw in the trailer. Permanent. You have five or more power. Gains 5,000 power. When he attacks, you automatically draw a card, which in every game is always awesome. Look at the art on these, though. Like, this is cool. Like, this is cool stuff. I'm actually super excited just to collect these simply for the art and the the, the playing of the game is awesome, too, but that's really an afterthought compared to this the art. It's really cool. I really like it a lot. This was also sent out to a lot of retailers, allowing them to pre-order product. <clears throat> Oh, here we go. Um, so in the set, it tells you each pack includes. Oh, I already have that. Damn it! It doesn't tell you the ratio. I was hoping it would tell you the ratio. It doesn't say shit. But yeah. So, in closing, not too much more to report. I mean, you can go on these sites yourself. This is just the you can just search in Dragon Ball Super Card Game on Facebook. They just put up a page two weeks ago. A uh, week before the official announcement, which is weird. So they 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 had previews. They knew it was coming. But if you guys who don't know what's coming or you're still investing in the Panini game, maybe slow down on the Panini game a little bit because it's a brand new card game. A brand new Dragon Ball card game, goddammit. And you got to spend lots and lots of money on new shit, and your old shit's really going to die. Um, I mean, the player community is really great. They, they still do, like, virtual sets for, like, Panini, and they did that for Score for, like, years after, and they'll probably do it for Panini. They're, they're diehard fans. They really don't want to lose... Uh, the game that they've they've loved for 20 years but it happens and it's time uh time to move on and to be honest uh the art and the overall layout of these cards look better um visually they're visually more pleasing to me than anything i've seen ever from score or panini period so i'm hoping this game takes off it's got a cool combo system like ufs we'll see if it's a little bit more complex i'm hoping it is i'm hoping it's some good stuff if you guys want to see more on the dragon ball super card game make sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel we're gonna have openings in a month or two when this game drops we're gonna have openings up the ass load i'm definitely gonna be opening this uh if you have any questions or you have any information to share hit me up in the comments below let me know what's going on with the game because i'm excited as fuck for it take care guys